Check it down. Here's a tune about the sunny name Renee that I met one day on my way back from time. Listen, this is not the Renee that Mr. Cheeks and the Lost Boys was singing about. This is Renee Scoglin, but listen. <laughs> Any reason I have to play my favorite old school hip hop track, I am. Anywho, Renee Scoglin is from South Dakota and she traveled all the way to Tampa Bay and had a one night stand. Then said, hmm, I probably need to get tested for STD, but I don't want my husband to find out. I need this to be free. So she calls 911 and makes a fake SA claim, okay? They got her on camera even buying the rope herself. Now the judge sentenced her for perjury because girl, you a hot ass mess. She has two years of community control, which I think is similar to community service, eight years of probation and has to pay back over seventeen thousand dollars in restitution because why is you playing with them taxpayers money and then she needs she's having a much needed mental health evaluation because honey you need some help okay help cometh your honor if we could request from the court south dakota resident renee scoglin is far from home and in legal hot water that even surprised the judge. This is really unbelievable. Skoglin's trail of lies started on March 8th of 2023, when she decided to come to Tampa Bay and cheat on her husband. That she had had consensual sexual intercourse with an individual while in Hillsborough County, that she felt guilty about this due to her marital status and she wanted to get checked for her sexual transmitted diseases. But she wanted to get tested for free, so she decided to lie again and call 911. I was just raped. I'm sorry? I was just raped. Okay, how long ago did this happen? Maybe like 45 minutes ago. Coglin made up a story about having car trouble on Interstate 75 and pulling over on the side of the road. An unknown male approached her, put a towel over her head and forced her into the back seat of her car. He put a rope on my hand and my feet. Because her face was covered, she couldn't describe her attacker. But her story started to unravel when police checked her cell phone and found this Walmart surveillance video of Skoglin buying the rope herself. She confessed to making the whole thing up. She was charged with making a false police report and decided to take a plea deal. Or I never sentenced anybody for perjury, but it's a good reminder to everybody that perjury is a crime and all the stuff that you made up and the resources expended on it um, could have been used and probably needed to be used by other cases that were real. Skoglin will now serve two years of community control and eight years of probation. And she will also have to repay the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office over $17,000 to investigate her fake rape claim. Gloria Gomez.